What's going on everybody and we're back. How we doing? 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 I've been waiting to make this video for a while now. I've got an open boxing or open bagging, whatever you want to call it, for the Staccato P, uh, formerly STI. My name is Andrew. I'm the Chief Instructor with Shots Fire Training, located in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Now let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so this is going to be very quick, very fast, very unscripted if you want to call it. I'm not at that technical level of doing uh, video editing and whatnot. Now, full disclosure, disclaimer, I did take this out to go bang bang just once or twice, but I put everything back into its original condition almost, um, and we'll take it from there. What is this bad boy? So this is our Staccato P model. I did get the DLC uh, barrel, and uh, there's our original tag on there from Georgetown, Texas. So what you get is you get this bag that it comes with here, and... I'm gonna go ahead and open this up right here. Okay. So total out the door cost, I'm not gonna let you creepers know who I am, was approximately just under, tw right around 2,800, 2,800. So uh, 2,599 was the cost for the gun. Do your tax, dross, background check, whatever the heck it is. And here we go. I bought an, an, one extra magazine. These are not cheap, 69.99. So I did it, I did it, I did it. I cannot believe I did it. You gotta check this out, but anyway. So, came with two mags. Yes, they're loaded, so those are gonna go off to the side and leave them out of the way. If I got any keyboard warriors that wanna mouth off, do your thing in the comments below. I threw those in here to show you guys what she comes with. But anyway, moving right along. There's your first opening pouch. There's our handy dandy tag that we've got right there. Now I'll go ahead and open up, okay. Beautiful, beautiful bag. I do love the case, I do appreciate that. Built for, uh, built for heroes, made in, the, made in Texas. Let's start with this little flap. Okay, got all my paperwork way down in here. That was obviously the barrel plug. Got a little staccato card. I've got my lock. I do appreciate that they put the lock inside of the bag. Everything's, you know, where it's supposed to be. Here's a testing target. That initials, BN, BM, whatever. So it's uh, PBR125 grain HAP. So this is the test that they did on obviously this particular target and you've got their, can't even read their own serial number handwriting. But anyway, so that's important. I'll keep that for giggles. That'll just stay in the bag. Normally I toss this, but this bag is going into storage shortly there, immediately after this video. I've been meaning to do this for a while now. So uh, let's get on to the meat and potatoes real quick. See here's, all righty. And there she is, ladies and gentlemen, there she is. Now, for all my safety gurus and everybody out there, yes, I do have ammo in there. Why? Because as I said previously in this video, off she went to go bang bang, but again, can never be too safe. So she is 100% clear to all my keyboard warriors out there. Go ahead, stick your finger in there. Oh, you're not supposed to stick your finger. Hey, tell you what, I would take a broken finger any day over a negligent discharge. So I'm gonna go ahead and set her down, but I'm gonna remove the tags that uh, I had thrown back on just for you guys. <coughs> so <clears throat> while I'm doing some admin here, guys, if you could do me the biggest favor in the world, Hit that like button, hit that subscribe. I'm working my way up slowly but surely, making myself find the time for the content. If you like the video, please, please, please do me the biggest favors you could ever do anybody and hit that, smash that like, smash the subscribe button and I'll get some more content coming for you guys here shortly. So, um, as it says in the intro of the video, I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it. I bought a staccato. Now, I remember when the STIs came out and I wasn't overly, if you want to call it, I wasn't sold 100%. I was not jumping on the bandwagon right off the get. I've been a Glock fanboy for quite some time. And I did not see a necessity to go over to the SCI just at that time. However, along my journey of firearms instruction, one as an instructor and as a trainer, <coughs> I found myself wanting... <clears throat> higher degrees of uh, accuracy on my own targets. So whether it be 50 yards, whether it be uh, a five inch plate at 50 yards on a, a, such as a hostage five inch swivel plate at 50 yards, I wanted more accuracy. Well, what was I running before? There is never, in my opinion, there's never a good video without a comparison. So here is Edward. Yes, Edward, my wife named it. And I asked her, why did you just call my gun Edward? And she said, because it sparkles in the sun like, like Edward on Twilight. And I thought, oh my God. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'll introduce you to my G35. 
that I had Cerakoted in uh, burnt bronze. And I will, at some point I'm gonna do a video on why I will never Cerakote another gun. So long as I live, I just will never Cerakote another gun unless it was the external components of a rifle. I've got my reasons. Once I get around to figuring out how to do a little bit of editing and whatnot, I'm gonna point my finger up here to my future self. Hey, future self, post why you never Cerakote your gun here. But anyway, let's so, one more time for my safety gurus out there. Put your finger in there, take your pinion, do you boo boo. So, and she's empty, one more time. Okay, we're clear, I'm happy. Ammo's uh, away from everybody especially the crown eaters. And if you're talking crap about the Olight, keep talking it. I like it. It's a testing. I'm not going to comment on that, but leave a comment below what your thoughts are. So anyway, I have been rocking uh, Glock 22. Gen 3 is where I started 10, 15, 20 years ago. I then went over to a Gen 4 uh, 22. Then I had a friend of mine ask me, hey, why don't you try a 35? And I said, that's a really great freaking question. Why don't I? I've always been a 40 caliber kind of person. The grip is just larger. It's just fits and works for me. And I've been very, very accurate. Uh, I was already accurate enough with my iron sights. Once I threw a red dot on, this is a Vortex Venom in uh, the 3MOA. And that became my duty gun. Uh, working in security, executive protection, dignitary protection, whatever kind of assignments I get myself into. This was my exposed duty gun, not concealed. Can you rock it concealed? Yes, but no. So I wanted more accuracy. Well, a lot of the questions that were asked, I'm gonna take this and just set her down there, set my Safari Land level three off to the side. A lot of questions were asked, well, why didn't you just go with the infamous Glock 34? And I said, okay, well, not a problem. I did. Out of the box, the Glock 34 is just an absolute amazing, 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 amazing gun. Nine millimeter, long slide, almost identical to the 35. I got an Acro P1, I do have a P2 coming up. Surefire X300, non, not the U model. However, why wouldn't I go from this to this if I was willing to go to 9mm? I said, well, I like the 40 caliber round, nothing against the 9mm. I was just used to and comfortable with the 40 caliber round. I threw this red dot, uh, the Acro on the 34, on the range, just on the fly, brand new 34, Everything was brand new, just pulled it out of the box, put it on on the range, and I hit a five inch steel plate at 50 yards all day long. I just didn't jive with the 34 in its capacity. I just said to myself, if I'm gonna stick to a Glock, why not stay with where I'm at? I couldn't see the reason. I had just as much accuracy with my 40 <coughs> as I did with the nine. Now, this is brand new. I've got at minimum, you know, 10,000 plus rounds already changed the recoil spring once through here, which again, I will explain in a later video. I will never Cerakote my gun again for various reasons. So what got me, and I'm gonna explain this in detail. This is meant to be more of an open box, but hopefully you guys are following with me. The video is not a video without a comparison where you came from, where we started, where we, where we began, where we want to get to, where we are, and how we're going to get to where we want to get to. I wanted more accuracy. End of story. So uh, I went from a Glock 22 Gen 4 that I was carrying for years and years and years, went to the G35, loved my accuracy on a G35, just absolutely phenomenal. 25 yards, I'll be hitting a group about this big all day long, not a problem, with or without a red dot, respectively, okay? And that's a pretty bold statement right there. Uh, tried the 34, said, ah, I wasn't getting it. But to bite the price tag on practically a $2,800 gun, $2,700 at the P model, any other model other than this, uh, this, the, this is the P and the CS particularly are the ones that uh, are in that $2,500 price range. Now, right from the get-go, the price comparison point between a Staccato and a Glock, it's just not, a, it's just not the same. It's not the same in any way, shape, or form. I even went to the degree of trying a STI, or not even an STI, but more or less, enter new toy. Shadow Systems DR920L, just for giggles. If I ever figure out how to do that video thing, I'll leave a video for the DR920L coming up here as soon as I can. So I tried going to a nine mil. My effort to transition to a 9mm from the G35 was the Shadow Systems CR920L. 
did not work out in any way for me. Nope, not going to happen. She's in the back banner. I did in order. I had the G30, G22 to 35, 35 to 34. Tried it, said, eh, don't like it. But this was my largest attempt to try and go back to that nine mil for the higher capacity. It was not a Glock. I was trying to get away from the Glock fanboyism. Otherwise, you know, whatever have you. Now, on this particular gun for the G35, I do have a Haley Strategic Trigger. All Glock OEM parts. It's a $25, $20 Magwell. And, I, and for those of you who have a Glock, the $20 Magwell from Magpul is 100% worth it. Uh, quick disclaimer, if you don't know, if you know, you know. Well, if you're gonna talk crap, do it in the comments below, you keyboard warriors. Uh, not sponsored by anybody. I bought all these with my own money. I am a firearms instructor, so this is kind of what I do for the giggles. Uh, anyway, so I've upgraded the trigger. Uh, I've got a red dot. I've got, who are these? What is this name? Oh, dear Lord. I know, I know. Dawson Precision. There we go. Dawson Precision, 100% blacked out front, blacked out rear. They're meant to be backup sights, you guys. If red dot goes down, at least you can still bang bang. So anyway, from the 22 to the 35 to the 34 DR920L, and I finally came across the Staccato 2011 P model. Right from the get-go, you've got your 1911 platform uh, with a 1911 trigger. There is no better trigger, in my humble opinion, than the firearm with a 1911 style trigger in a 1911 configuration platform. Your extended mags are 20 rounds. Your standard mags are 17 rounds. So right from the get, even with a flush fit mag, you've got eight, one in the pipe, 17 in the mag. And because I did that, we'll go through our process and procedures again. Everybody's like, <gasps> it's like watching a uh, home improvement. You know, you never know when a finger's gonna get cut off or a round's going off. But anyway, so we've got, starting from the front to the end, you got a flush fit bull barrel You've got front cocking serrations, fiber optic front that is not in a carry height. It's actually in a the other height. Don't quote me on it. Go to their website. I'm going to share with you guys what I know and what I don't know. I'll be the first to say I don't. I've got a blacked out rear, ambidextrous safety, skeletonized hammer, skeletonized trigger. Got some rear cocking serrations on both sides, ambidextrous safety. I've got the little American flag laser etched over there. And you've got your grip safety over here. Uh, what do I think about this gun? I absolutely love it. Out of the box, which I'll have another video over here. Stop shooting your gun out the box, idiot. Uh, <laughs> when I figure out what I'm doing, this gun is awesome. It really, really, really comes across as a Ferrari of guns. I look what I did started here, say six, seven hundred bucks for the gun, plus the trigger, plus my Cerakoting, and you can't include the red dot because I've got a red dot here but I'm actually gonna get you guys to help me out in that regard as to what I'm doing. So as the ladies decide to depart, exit right, okay? Cause left is already too full with other bananas, uh, extravaganzas. And for those of you who are wondering, well, why not Cerakote your gun? Well, the Cerakote gun, I just was lucky enough to snag this G35 off of Gun Broker for an auction, right? There we go, my keyboard warriors. and. It's 100% stock. I will do some fun with the trigger, but I was lucky enough to find it because I don't think these are no longer being manufactured. So this is gonna be another uh, play. So exit right, Let's go ahead and get her out of there. And our DR920L, um, yeah, she's just, yeah, didn't make the cut. That's all there is to it, moving right along. So, and here we are. We've got the Staccato 2011 uh, Staccato P in nine millimeter. That's about it, guys. Got a really amazing magwell. She shoots amazing, shoots flat. Just putting two or three mags with iron sights, I found myself immediately just as, if not more accurate, because specifically because of the trigger, the weight, and the grip of this particular firearm. They have a small little undercut here that is just absolutely amazing for your touch point reference. As soon as I come up, Whenever I'm ever drawing, I tend to throw my thumb here or I use my index finger as my point of reference to be able to get my hand in where I need to go. And your thumb is supposed to rest on top of 
your ambidextrous safety, even if you're left-handed, vice versa. So this gun is absolutely amazing. I'm going to be slapping the uh, Delta Point Pro Reflex System by Dawson Precision on there. And you know what? Here's a question that I'm gonna submit to you guys. Let's see if I can get enough comments for people wanna tell me. So I've got an FDE Delta Point Pro that was meant to go on Edward so that she would match. Well, it's no longer going on there. Okay, so now what the hell do I do with it? Well, I could put it on this G35, but now I've kinda got the FDE and Dart going on, but I'm like, eh, that doesn't look pretty. Well, if I throw it on here, well, that really doesn't look pretty. So I've got my black, I'm flagging myself, wonderful, yay me. Uh, I have my black Leopold Delta Point Pro, or I've got the FDE Delta Point Pro, but I'd love to know what you guys would think aesthetically. If you think it would be nicer with the FDE or with the black. Go ahead and let me know in the comments below, you guys. Other than that, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm gonna have some more videos coming out, uh, not only on some things that you might have seen in this video as is, but uh, if you have any questions, let me know. If you guys like the video, please again, hit that like, hit that subscribe button. It is 100% worth the price, and I'm probably gonna slowly but surely, I'll get down the line. Now, do I recommend this firearm? 100% yes. If you consider yourself to be an intermediate to advanced shooter that wants to be able to take your skills to the limit, the Staccato P will 100% get there. If you're brand new and you're new to the shooting industry, to the shooting sport, do not buy this gun. Unless money's no object, but even then, do not buy this gun. If you're new to the industry, do not buy this firearm. You're not gonna know what you're, what you're getting yourself into per se. Not persuading anybody away from it. Now, yeah, on the same side, it's so subjective, it can be difficult if you wanna buy one and done. Like, hey, I just want a gun for home protection. I'm never gonna buy another gun for the rest of my life. Do it, go for it. But it's application, application, application. So let me know what you guys think in the comment below. Yes, I said that. Let me know what you guys think in the comment below and we will rock and roll from then. Until next time, you guys, stay safe, carry safe. And, uh, We'll see you guys in the next episode of whatever it is that I call that, that I'm doing. All right, guys. Thanks again. Much appreciated.